Hi everyone and welcome to my painting session today. Um, in this session I basically was looking through my sketchbook and trying to find um, one of my styles that I would like to replicate in this uh, painting. I am using an old uh, sketchbook page, um, watercolour watercolor page that I used to create some floral um, samples and I used gouache to create that so once I've sketched what it is that I want to paint over this, the stag I want to paint, I am going to be making sure that I cover the gouache really well with some gesso first and then moving on to um, adding my acrylic. So. Yeah, so here I'm just sketching it out and um, I'm going to be trying to just get a basic outline of my sketch that I want to use and then I will go ahead and start adding some of the values in and um, whatever colours I add there's always going to be layering so I start off here by adding um, black gesso and I'm just trying to make sure that the tape at the edge there stays down because it's kind of holding on to um, an area of the paper that has some gouache um, that I actually squeezed out of the tube so uh, the they're a bit bumpy on that side so just held it down to make sure I could paint in the right direction to make sure it doesn't go under the tape and then I'm going to go ahead and just continue to paint around uh, my stag that I've sketched. So this is kind of like um, reverse um, painting or redacting. I'm covering the areas that I want to have as the background uh, first so that I can then see my character and I'll start painting my character once I've gone around uh, the shape just to make sure that I can see my character a bit better. So it's one way to do it. You could always start with the character first and then paint the environment. Sometimes this helps me to get into the mood of what kind of an environment that this character is um, in. So here I've just decided I've not used my black gesso, you know, as a starting point for a while. So that's why I'm doing that here. And, and so this is saying to me that um, I want it to be quite moody. Um, having the black gesso on helps to really intensify your colors. So as you can see already, just using that dark color with some blue that I've mixed, pre-mixed blue in there, is making the floral pattern on the stag area a lot more um, intense. But I will be painting over that. I mean, I like the way it looks right now, but I had a different intention for it. and. Um, Doing things like this, mixing mediums, always helps me to get ideas for future paintings. But when I have in mind that I wanted to use acrylics, um, stopping just here wouldn't have been good enough for me to just do the outline. So I will be painting over that floral area um, with some acrylic as this goes on. But yeah, I really enjoyed painting this piece. and. Um, been yeah just thinking about what else I can offer here on my YouTube channel to you guys to um, uh, yeah just to help inspire you for your creativity um, I really enjoy painting uh, and I really enjoy experimenting and storytelling through my characters so whatever it is that I'm painting I'm always creating a character that is sort of mysterious or has a story to tell I think so yeah it's a lot of fun doing this and I thought I would share this so um, what I'm gonna do is just play some music for the rest of this and let you watch the rest of the process of me adding um, acrylic to the character and um, let me know what you think and if you have any ideas for any more um, information you want on why I do what I do or on any art tips just let me know
but uh, I think if I'm sharing more then I'll be able to give you more ideas of how I do things and why I do them. Um, not everything is going to be necessarily the way that it's done in, in other artists process but um, it helps me to just keep going with what I'm doing just enjoying what I'm doing enjoying the process and not thinking too much about anything else so um, at every point I am always trying to think of creating something that is uh, enjoyable to look at and has a story behind it so I'll play some music from this point on and just let you watch the rest of the art process <laughs> 